The day of reckoning inches ever closer, where the government of Iran will be on the spot and will have to make a call. Agree to what America and a good part of the civilized world demand of them with regard to nuclear weapons, or prove yet again they have no intention of complying, which could restart the nuclear wheel in the Middle East and around the world. Our guest is a former member of the European Parliament representing Scotland, head of the delegation from the European Freedom Association in Paris, to address not just this deal, but the global rise of Islamic fundamentalism. Also author of the book Self-Sacrifice, Life with the Iranian Mujahideen. Let's welcome Strawn Stevenson to the hard line. Mr. Stevenson, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, it's a pleasure. Is there any doubt in your mind as we head towards this deadline that Iran is simply playing America and the rest of the world for fools? Yeah, well, of course they are. I mean, the supreme leader of Iran, Ayatollah Khamenei, has made impossible uh, clauses now. He is saying that the minute the uh, nuclear deal is signed on the 30th of June, all sanctions must be lifted. Now, originally, John Kerry was negotiating on the basis that each time Iran obeyed one of the clauses, clauses then uh, some of the sanctions could be lifted. Now, Obama has said, OK, if they want all the sanctions lifted immediately, we don't see a problem so long as we can reimpose the sanctions if we catch them cheating. So on the 30th of June, before the ink is dry, ink is dry we will be potentially $150 billion worth of assets, which will revitalize the Iranian economy and allow them to once again remilitarize Hezbollah in Lebanon, Hamas in Gaza, the Houthi rebels in Syria, uh, Bashar al-Assad's bloody regime in Syria, uh, as well as their nuclear program, building nuclear weapons. So we are going to aid and abet the whole rearming of the most evil regime in the world if we allow this nuclear deal to go ahead. We hear so much from the Obama administration, but from your take, the rest of the world, does the rest of the world look at the president and how we're dealing with Iran and see him as being incompetent? Well, what we think is he has achieved already a small part of his historic legacy by uh, the deal he struck with Cuba. Now he wants a major deal with Iran which uh, has, you know, the negotiations have gone on for decades. He wants this to be his historic presidential legacy. And I tell you, the world is going to pay a very heavy price for this legacy for President Obama, because we're saying nothing about the uh, ballistic missile program that's going on apace in Iran right now. Even Vladimir Putin has now said he will renew his uh, contract to supply Iran with S-300 surface-to-air missiles. We know recently that a bunch of uh, expert uh, ballistic uh, uh, scientists from North Korea visited Tehran. Uh, we know that they're buying ballistic uh, missile technology from uh, North Korea. And, you know, soon they will have ballistic missiles that can deliver nuclear warheads, not only to Israel and Saudi Arabia, but even to countries in Europe. Now, you know, this is the country that we're talking about signing an agreement with on the 30th of June. It is complete madness. I have to ask you with about the 90 seconds we have left, what you have all detailed here is frightening to many people. Would it be your opinion and those of other leaders in Europe that if this deal is cut, if the Iranians are allowed to get away with it, that we are sitting even closer to the edge of a nuclear war in the Middle East? You're sitting potentially on the Middle East becoming a nuclear tinderbox. And anyone that thinks that releasing, uh, relieving the sanctions uh, on Iran is going to suddenly overnight transform them into a more responsible uh, country is really, uh, it's, it's wishful thinking. It just is not going to happen. We are going to stop this country, which is teetering on the edge of the precipice. The collapse in oil prices has left their economy in ruins. And we are going to hand them the assets that enable them to rebuild their economy and survive. It is a very stupid thing to do. We should not sign any nuclear agreement 
with the most evil regime in the world. And those are the words that, quite frankly, need to get through to the president and so many people such as yourself and other European leaders are trying to make sure that he understands. I want to remind everybody once again that the book is a fascinating look at a group of people who are perhaps ready to step in and the type of people who may be running Iran one day. Self-sacrifice life with the Iranian Mujahideen. It is about the people's Mujahideen of Iran, the PMOI. Mr. Stevenson, I know that you're involved and you support them as well. I want to thank you very much for your time. I hope we have a chance to speak again. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Let's ask you now. The deal that the president is proposing with Iran, should he stop, put his foot down, and say no, or should he go ahead and do it? Email, Facebook, Twitter, send it to us. You talk, we'll talk back. The fastest 60 minutes of news continues.